Ulisse Overland. We were in a pub one day thinking about the project name and the pub was called the Grenadier. <laughs> well, it sounds quite cool, Grenadier, it, you know, it's sort of manly, you know, soldiery, British, and the, the beer was quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> the idea behind Project D Grenadier is it will be the spiritual successor to the Land Rover Defender. It's very much a British institution. It'll pull a plough, it'll clear a minefield, you can drive up to Buckingham Palace. It's about as classless as you can get. No frills, uncompromising, off-road, 4x4. Not too much is going to change. You know, the car you know, looks pretty cool. You don't want to change it too much. Um, it's got great off-road capability. We don't want to change you know, that aspect of the car very much. But what we do want to do is uh, work a bit on the quality of the engineering and the reliability. So, ideally, this car we want to be as reliable as the Toyota Land Cruiser. Whoever, you know, the world knows it's one of the world's most reliable cars. It, it does need to be as simple as we can make it in the modern world. I mean, the modern world does require a level of sophistication, whether you like it or not. Otherwise, you know, you don't, you don't get the permit to drive it on the road. So, unfortunately, things have got a bit more complicated, but. We are, as best we're able, going to keep it as simple as possible so that you can repair it in the field. Ideally, what I'd like is a vehicle which you can hose down outside and inside. Like the original Land Rover, you know, the farmer got in with cow shit on his boots and when he got out, he could hose it down and wash it out and, you know, that's what we'd like to do with the new one. We get a remarkable number of emails and communications from people supporting the project. It's quite surprising, I have to say. From all over the world, you know, from South America, from America, from China, all over the place. We get emails from people who are you know, enthusiastic about reviving, you know, the, this spiritual successor to the Defender. In an ideal world, yeah, we'd very much like to build it in the UK, but it has to be economically viable. It has to make sense to be able to do it in the UK, but in an ideal world, absolutely, I'd like to produce it in the UK. It's, it's a boy's toy. Farmer's car, the explorer's car, the scientist's car, the Africa car, same thing. It feels like you're driving a truck, you can drive cross country, you, you know, you can misbehave in it. People like that. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can. <laughs>